Welcome back, O-Doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and it's been too long since we've seen each other. I think we need to spend some more quality time together. Quite literally. So, if that horrible pun didn't clue you in, let me spell it out for you. Today, we're going to be talking about Odoo's quality app. Here at Stealthywood, we manufacture a lot of products. And while we always strive for perfection, products don't always turn out the way we want them to. This can happen for a variety of reasons, including the quality of the materials that were used, or just good old human error. But when it does happen, we need to make sure that affected products don't end up in the hands of our customers, which would be quite an embarrassment. I would be embarrassed. So let's dive into our Stealthywood database and see just how it all works. So here we are on the main dashboard of the quality app. Now from the dashboard, I can view all of the quality teams that I have configured as well as the number of quality checks that we see in progress, like the 91 from the quality team, jeez. As well as the number of quality alerts right there is a little button. Now for those of you who aren't familiar, a quality check is a manual inspection conducted by an employee to ensure the quality of a product. And clicking on the checks in progress over here on the quality team card, it basically shows me all of the checks that the team is responsible for managing. But we're gonna go back out of here over to the overview again. Now, clicking on the quality alert smart button over here, or button, small o doopsie, basically shows us all of the quality alerts assigned to the team. A quality alert is created to notify the team when a quality issue is discovered. Now, by default, these alerts are displayed in a Kanban view, and that shows what stage of the review process that they're currently in. But if you're feeling extra crazy or spicy, you can use all of the options up here to change it to something else. But I'm not that crazy today. Now I can also go to the main quality checks page via quality control up here and quality checks. Boom. And now I can view every check across all of my teams. Or I can also go to quality control and quality alerts again. Boom. Look at that. And now I can view every single alert. All right. Let's jump over to the control points page by going to quality control. Control points is the last one there. Now in Odoo, quality control points are used to automatically create quality checks at a predetermined interval. Now we'll take a deeper look at control points and all of the different ways that they can be configured in a later video. But for now, just trust me, bro. Just know that they help us ensure that every single product is being regularly inspected for defects. All right, now that we're basically experts on all of this, let's take a look at a quality inspection workflow from start to finish. So as you can see here, we've created a quality control point for our dining table product right there because it shows us the product, which is configured to request a quality check during the manufacturing operation over at our warehouse over here. And it'll tell us under operations. Now to see that in action, I'm going to go ahead and leave here, go into the manufacturing app over here, operations, manufacturing orders, and new. Great. We're going to make a new one. So inside of the product field, I'm actually going to start typing the word dining because we're going to check the dining table and confirm this out. Great. Now, once that I did that, something happened. And that is that two quality buttons appeared up here at the top. We have quality alert and quality checks, as well as a very special button up at the top as well. Quality checks. Now, this is because our control point was configured to create a quality check every time we confirm a manufacturing order for the dining table. Clicking on the smart button up here at the top will take us to a page where I can see a list of all of the quality checks created for this order. In this case, there's only one. There's a single one. But we're going to go back to our manufacturing order because I have something to show you. Now, clicking on that purple action button is going to open up a pop-up, which I can complete the quality checks created for the order. Once again, we just have the one to worry about for this MO. and You can actually just see that right there. But I also don't have to worry about it too much because what do you know? This window gives me all the instructions I need to complete the check and that is incredibly convenient. In this case, I just gotta make sure all four legs are on the table. It's pretty easy. So I guess that's been a problem in the past. Um, anyways, let me just run over to the assembly line real quick. I gotta confirm that you know our dining table can stand on its own four legs. So we're gonna go do that. All right, now that I'm back from getting a snack, 
I mean, conducting the quality check, let's finish processing it, shall we? So, on my way back from the vending machine, I happened to walk by our assembly line and noticed that the dining table was successfully assembled with four legs. So all I need to do in this case is just put pass. But before that, I'm gonna type something in, because you can leave an additional note. Pass. All right, we're all done. Now, once that I did that, the quality check passes and the rest of the manufacturing process can continue as usual. Now, before we move on, there's just one more thing I want to mention. For this example, we used a quality check on a manufacturing order. However, the process for a quality check on any type of inventory order works exactly the same way. All we have to do is open the inventory order, click on the quality check button to make sure the quality checks pop-up window appears as usual. Okay, Odeurs, I promise I'm going to let you go soon. But before I do, there's just one more thing I need to confirm and mention. Now, when we create a new quality control point, we can configure it to create quality checks for a specific work order rather than the entire MO. I'll get into the specifics of how to configure a QCP for my acronym lovers to do just that in the next video. For now, I just want to show you what processing and quality check on a work order looks like. So we're gonna stay on this MO and I'm actually gonna click over here on the work orders tab and guess where we're going. Then I'm going to click on the open work order button, which happens to be right there in the bottom right as an arrow. Okay. Now this shows us all the information related to the work order. Then once that I'm done with this, I'm gonna actually click on the button over here that says open shop floor, which takes me over to Odoo shop floor module. Now shop floor is a standalone module that was added in Odoo 16.4 to replace the manufacturing tablet view. If you're on the older version of Odoo, just click tablet view, that little button that you used to see me spam. And that's just gonna appear on the work order itself on the line. Doing so opens tablet view for the work order where the quality check will be listed as one of the steps. All right, back to our workflow over here. Floor shop, over here, shop floor, I mean, shows us all the steps required to complete the work order. In this case, there are just two. We have assemble table, check. And finally, well, actually, let's talk about that one. That is our quality check and then register production that we have right there. Now, all I need to do is click on the quality check step right there. And boom, it's done. And basically, the last thing that we had to do, if we wanted to, was a little bit further. If I clicked on that, I could see the instructions for how to complete the check. After doing so, I'm going to basically click validate for this one as well for the picture check. Although it's asking me to upload a picture, so we're just going to do that. Select one of our nice ones right there, such as this. And we're just gonna fake this right there to validate that and move forward. Just like that, the quality check is completed and we can move on with the rest of this work order as well as our secondary order right there. And that brings this lesson to a close. Today we took a tour of the quality app and ran through a basic workflow for processing quality checks. Now I know what you're thinking, Jose, this is one of the best videos I've ever watched. I need to know even more about the quality app. Well, you're just in luck, O-Doers, because this is just the very first video in a series of videos. Coming up, we'll learn about configuring new quality control points, QCPs, the different types of quality checks, and how to process them, and how to create a quality alert when one of our checks happens to fail? Anyways, go grab a snack. It's not as scary as that sound effect made it seem, so join me soon for more quality tutorials.